Okay, so we're just going to go through some uh, uh, measurement exercises with our mug. So I'm going to measure the top and the bottom of the lip. You can pretty much start measuring wherever you want. And now what I'm going to do is measure the distance between that top of the lip and the bottom of the lip. And then I'm going to see how high the mug is. So how many times that distance with the arrows fits into the rest of the mug. So um, we'll measure along one and uh, two and three. To measure you can use your pencil um, placed on the page or your fingers. You can like, um, you know, if whatever fits really. Um, when the thing's in front of you, you can um, you know, hold up your pencil, put your finger on the um, the edge of it, and and slide it up and down and measure. So we've got one, two, three times that top distance fits into the mug. So now what we're going to do is draw our um, uh, mug's measurements onto our piece of paper. One, two. It's the same sort of distance. Three and four. Okay, so now I need to make sure that uh, I can get the right width of the mug. So looking back here, I can measure the edge on each side and I'm going to use that top measurement, the, the arrows measurement, to measure along the top of the mug and see how many times that measurement fits. It doesn't have to be absolutely exact, it just needs to be reasonably um, reasonably exact. So what, um, what uh, I can discover is that it fits um, approximately one, two, and three. So I can get three of that measurements across the top of the mug, so now I know how wide to make the mug. So same thing, I measure once along here and I measure across. Uh, so I make my mark here, two and three. Now I can just begin to fill those lines in. Now what I also notice is the mug the top of the mug goes straight down so I can just draw my line straight down to make it fit which is um, nice and easy and I can start putting in the rough outline of where all of my mug pieces will go um, what I need to do now is measure the handle section and so I want to know how wide uh, to make the handle. So if I have a look, I can measure along, figure out how long that is. Now I can use any of the other measurements that I've found on the mug just by holding the, um, my uh, pencil up in front of me. And oddly enough, the same distance from the top to the bottom of that lip is the same distance as the handle of the mug, which is very lucky. Okay, so uh, what I'll need to do is transfer that distance to here. I also noticed um, just by looking at the lines that the top of that handle piece and the bottom of the handle piece fit um, level with the top of the lip, as you notice, and the um, the next line down also fits. So I know where the top and the bottom of it is, and I can make it its width. And once I've got that measurement, let's have a look at how we can uh, make the curve at the top. Now everyone knows that it's an 
an oval shape that's at the top, so it's not a circle. We know that um, it would appear to be a circle. So I like to get a little diagonal line across the top and another diagonal line across the top. See how we've made sort of a, a rectangle there and you'll find the center point. And then um, you'll notice that uh, if I draw a line straight up and straight across through that center point, I'll have like a little cartwheel type arrangement. And if I transfer that same sort of cartwheel measurement, one, two, to my drawing, then um, you'll notice I can draw that little um, kite shape and then about well, possibly about three quarters of the way around make a little mark and get the curves now each piece of the curve will just touch um, where the corners of that kite shape that diamond shape intersect so I'm just going to draw that in which is kind of nice and I'm getting a rough sort of shape at the top. I'll fix it up a bit more later. Now the base of the mug is not a square flat sort of base. It's actually the same as the curves on the top. So I'm just going to transfer that same shape from the curves at the, uh, using the curves at the top as my kind of rough guide. So here we go drawing that in like so then what I'm going to do is use the handle part I'm going to make the handle um, curve as well so I'm going to look at my drawing again see if I can get the same sort of handle curve like so just get that handle curve around the top just take my time do my best to get um, those top edges so the top edge then that little bottom edge and then the edge that goes around the outside and the edge that goes around the inside. And then I can use a few lines just to kind of get where everything goes. Once I've drawn my mug, then I can focus on uh, making it as a little bit more accurate. I can start to fill in some of the details, rub out all of my construction lines and then I'll have a more accurate uh, mug and there we go